What is up guys, it's the Cat's Pajamas, keeping things fresh, like I do, and I'm just kidding. Hello Spontaneous Gameplay, this is Coolio Fulia 9000 of Sonico Productions, and uh, haha, <laughs> just got you there, ha 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 ha. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, I can't keep things as fresh as the cat's pajamas, so you'll have to settle for me today. So, uh, concerning the gameplay, uh, this is a kill confirmed match on the map Dome using the PP90, and today I thought I'd bring back a series that I haven't done in a really long time on my channel, and I think a lot of you guys, if you're subscribed to my channel, you guys really enjoyed this series, and this is a series where I tell a funny and entertaining story that has happened anywhere between maybe when I was 6 or 7 years old right up to right now when I'm 16 years old, and obviously, uh, most most of the funny stories are yet to come considering I'm only 16 and stuff, but these are stories from my childhood and my youth, so I think you guys will really enjoy today's episode. And today's episode is the time when my swim trunks fell off in public. Oh, and I forgot to mention the name of the series. Now, the name of the series um, is very surprisingly, I don't think you guys would ever have guessed this, it is called Storytime with Coolio Fulia 9000. So, um, I think it's quite original, so um, we're going to tell the story in a second. But first, I'd just like to say that I'm really impressed with a lot of the new directors that Magic has recruited to this channel, you know. Um, I've been taking the time to watch a lot of the videos that he's posted up in the past week, and I gotta say, I really like the new team of directors. I think they're all very talented, and they all have something new to offer, you know, something to offer in their own unique way, you know, whether it's through the gameplay or their commentary style or the expression they use. I think each one is very valuable to this channel, and I really hope this channel will get back to the view counts that we used to get in terms of, like, I think they, we used to get like 500 views, anywhere from 500 to 800 views is what we used to get, and that was, that was huge for the sub count that we had, but obviously we've dropped, and it'd be nice to get back up there and even expand and grow even greater than that. So, now it's time to tell the story of the time when my swim trunks fell off in public. So this happened about three years ago, I'd say, I was in grade 8, so uh, yeah, I was 13, and my family decided to go on one of those Royal Caribbean cruises, um, me, my parents, and my sister, and those things are so much fun, guys, I recommend going on those um, so much. I met a lot of cool people from all across North America. It was a really fun experience, and um, except for this story. So, um, cruise ships have these rooms where you can go hang out and meet people, and you basically do all sorts of fun activities around the ship. So, almost as soon as I got on this cruise, I joined one of these groups, and each and every day, we got to, with the people that I met, we got to go around the ship and do all these cool and crazy things. So, during one evening, I guess one night, one of the activities that we got to do was to bodyboard on the flow rider, and if you guys don't know what the flow rider is, it is um this badass wave simulation type thing. It's like a surfing or bodyboarding simulation device, and it basically has these waves that shoot out from one end up the hill of this. It's like it's like in a hill shape. It's kind of like a skateboarding half pipe, if you guys want to picture it that way. So these waves were pretty intense, man. Like if you fell off this bodyboard while you're bodyboarding against the wave, you basically slid up the entire hill right to the top. So this was a pretty intense thing, and that was about to play to my dis advantage. So, um, if you guys still can't picture this, just look it up on Google, look up the Flow Rider on YouTube or Google and you guys will know what it is. So, one night, this group of friends that I had become acquainted with on this cruise ship, we went over to go bodyboarding, and this was my first time bodyboarding ever, man. I was a bodyboarding noob. Picture that guy, that guy in Call of Duty that camps in the corner with the FAMAS and never moves. He's bodyboarding now. Picture that. Okay, so um, let's get back on this on pace with the story. And when I got on the bodyboard for the first time, you know, things were actually okay. You know, I was feeling it, man. I, I was getting my flow rider on, and uh, I wasn't falling off. So everything was good. You know, everyone was watching me. I was like, yeah, man, I know how to bodyboard bitch. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was feeling like Chuck Norris. I don't know. Does Chuck Norris glide on a bodyboard? I don't know. Chuck Norris can do anything. So, um, yeah, so I was, I was on this bodyboard. I was gliding. You know, everything was good. But then, I started to notice something in my swim trunks. And my swim trunks weren't on that tight, you know. Uh, I just, I was kind of like, I like to wear my things loose, man. I'm not a tight person, you know. I'm not, I'm not homo. I don't wear freaking skinny jeans. But things were getting a bit uncomfortable. So, I had this strong grip on my bodyboard so that I wouldn't fall off it. So, I started to loosen that grip a bit to try and make an attempt at reaching over and kind of pulling up my pant, pulling up my uh, swim trunks just a bit, and um, I kept doing that over and over and over again, but before I knew it, I lost grip of the bodyboard, and that was a crisis, that was not good. So as a result, my body slid all the way back up to the top of the flow rider, and since the waves, and the wave strength was just so strong that I couldn't really control anything, you know, I was trying to hold my swim trunks up, but I couldn't really do that, because I just, I lost, like, 
control of everything and I just went flying back up to the top of the flow rider so at this point you know my my, my swim trunks were sagging you know they're falling down and I couldn't do anything about it so they ended up falling all the way down to like I think my like thighs or my ankles even of course my ankles man and my butt was exposed and thank god my penis was facing the ground so nobody saw that but everyone saw my asshole everyone saw basically me three quarters of the way naked and there were a lot of people watching you know all the people I'd met all the all the hot chicks that were watching as well and it was definitely kind of embarrassing and it was not till I got very very close to the top of the flow rider when I was able to just quickly pull up my swim trunks and act as if nothing happened but obviously everyone I looked up everyone was laughing and it was not the most exciting experience to be a part of exciting for you guys to hear not exciting for me to experience so um that's basically the story very short and sweet but nonetheless it was very embarrassing and I still remember it to the day so I hope you guys enjoy that story and I'm just gonna ask guys I'm, I want to get 20 likes on this on my channel I generally ask for likes on these types of story videos because these are generally my better commentaries and I just want to um, get this story out to as many people as possible that, so they can hear and I can share my embarrassing experiences with them so definitely if you're on spontaneous gameplay and you like these stories uh, subscribe to my channel I'm, I, I do have uh, one that I have in mind that I'm ready to do uh, very soon so once this gets 20 likes on my channel I'll probably do that so again come over to my channel Channel, see if you like it and I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and commentary it's wrapping up very shortly so until next time guys peace out and tango suck -ows.